Hello everybody, this is a viewer requested video. In this video, I would like to show how we can create a controlled depression on a surface similar to the one that's been shown on screen. Okay, let's start. Okay, now I would like to quickly create a double curvature surface using degree 3 curves. Pressing the Alt key to make another copy of it. We create a surface from the curves using sweep two rail first rail second rail sweep shape or cross section okay something like that and we're going to put our control depression somewhere here I'm going to draw a curve that will correspond to the eventual curve on this surface and if i want to be able to update the position of the projector curve when i make changes in terms of orientation or scaling of this original curve i can do so by clicking the record history before executing the project command okay which i'm going to demonstrate now i'm going to click the record history and then click the project so it asks me for the curve to project is this the curve press enter and this is the surface to project onto it should be noted that the projection is a view specific operation and in our case here i have to do it in the top view because the top view is actually normal to the vision of the eye which is uh, important in determining how the curve will be projected onto the curve will be projected normal to the vision of the eye okay so in this case here we have to do it in the top view and you notice that if i were to make any changes to the original curve the projected curve will be updated You see yep now i want to determine the length of this uh, curve the type length and our length is uh, 24.5 approximately mm, what i'm going to do is create a line that is a uh, 24.5 mm And I will do so by using a point. I can put a point anywhere, maybe here, and click on it and click on this extrude function and type 24.5. Enter and I'll get a curve of that length. I don't need this point anymore. Let me move this to somewhere that is uh, easier for you to see what I'm doing okay maybe here okay what I'm going to do is to create the object that will be used to cut the depression and I'm going to turn on or make sure the object snap the mid is turned on to find the center of this line okay let me turn on the smart track okay I'm going to use this control point curve okay i'm using the smart track to find the, the midpoint and i'm going to click here okay 
okay so here is where i want to uh start drawing the the curve this out now don't need this anymore okay so this will be half of the cross section if i want to be able to control the profile better i might want to add more control points which i'm going to do now i'm going to use the insert insert knot to add say one point around here let's make sure that it's vertically aligned something like that okay I need to make sure that the first and second point is also vertically aligned. Okay, you can see that it's uh, vertically aligned. I'm going to mirror this onto the other side here using the mirror command. Okay, and then I'm going to join this. I reckon I might not need this center. Okay. okay you can see that it's over here now um let's revolve this curve to get our shape revolve Select how to revolve this. Revolve axis here and here are the points of it. Start angle zero. Revolution angle three six zero. Enter. Okay, so this is the shape I want. And maybe um I want to flatten it in this direction. Slightly make it flatter in this direction. You can click on the scaling function do that it's important to note that we will need this original line for the subsequent operation okay so now once we have this created we want to put it onto this surface that is um having it aligned to this curve here to do that we can use perhaps the flow along curve okay flow along curve so i ask you uh, uh, let, maybe let me just press escape first to deselect everything so that we can uh, run the command from the start okay flow along curve select object to flow along curve is this surface enter select base curve near one end okay the base curve is that straight line that we have drawn and we need to find the end that will correspond to this end okay so it will be here and then you ask for the target curve so the target curve will be this at this end here okay and you can see that it's are flowing along okay and now what i can do is to trim away the portions that we don't need and i reckon it's easier to use the split instead of the trim because i'm not able to uh easily trim away the region that's inside so i'm going to use the split instead select object to split is this first enter cutting object is this enter and we have splitted this surface we need to do a split one more time in this case here we need to split this okay so i'm going to repeat the split again select object to split now is this enter cutting object is this enter so now i can 
remove the top half and the inner region of this surface so we got something like that let me hide the iso curves okay i don't like to see the iso curves okay um the next thing we need to do is to round off the edges and i reckon the easiest way to do it is to use the solid blends and to do that we need to join these surfaces join this this and this and let's try it let's go to solid fillet edge blend edge by the way the blend edge will give us a nice curvature blend whereas a fillet is a tangent kind of a edge treatment okay this is a curvature treatment so this will give us a nicer transition blend let's give it a bigger radius i don't know how much i can afford maybe i just put 1.5 yeah, I'm not too sure whether it's workable using this value, but let's try. Not sure whether it will work or not. Let's give it a smaller value. Oops, doesn't work. Just try one. If this still doesn't work, I need to use another method. Okay, it works now. I think the previous value was a bit too big. You might want to experiment to give you the, the desired result. Okay. So I think with that, I'm done with this demonstration. Hope that's been useful. See you. Bye.